Hey amigas, welcome back to my channel. My name is Niobe for those of you who are new and for all my girlies who are returning. Hi friends, I miss you guys so much. And today I am showing you all my everyday base makeup routine. Now I am definitely becoming more of a makeup girly, especially with all this amazing PR that I have been receiving. Most of the products I use today are luxury products by Charlotte Tilbury, Anastasia Brow, this new brand that I've actually been checking out called Ilia Beauty. I'm going to make sure to link all the products down below so you all can check them out. Personally, I am like in love with this new updated base routine. I just feel like the formulas on these products are no joke. My skin feels so hydrated, so luscious, so youthful. Ugh. And if you know anything about Charlotte Tilbury, you know she uses a lot of skincare ingredients in her products such as hyaluronic acid, niacinamide, vitamin C. And I'm also gonna show you a few items that I use to prep my skin before applying this beautiful makeup because I'm a strong believer that your makeup will look like skin when you prep your skin accordingly. So first, you're gonna start off with clean, bare skin. Now, I have always told my girlies how important it is to have a good skincare routine because I believe that skincare and makeup go hand in hand. So first, we're gonna be starting off with obviously a Charlotte Tilbury product. This is called Charlotte Magic Cream. It's an instant turnaround moisturizing cream. I find that this works well with my acne prone skin. Again, if you're new to my channel, I'll give you the backstory. I have very acne prone skin and sensitive skin. And I have to be super careful with the types of creams and skincare products that I use on my face and on my body because I break out easily. Now we're gonna go in with Charlotte Tilbury's Magic Eye Rescue. This Magic Eye Rescue does have a little bit of caffeine in it, which helps your eye area wake up. Now it is time to apply some foundation. I am using Charlotte's Beautiful Skin Foundation. I absolutely love this foundation the moment that I tried it out. I am wearing the color 12 Neutral. Definitely a great foundation. Like I'm in shock by how hydrated this foundation is. It's really giving luscious, expensive, and a foundation that's super easy to create a skin-like makeup look and also blend other blushes and contours and just bronzers with. Now it is time for my favorite part, and that is contouring. So we are going to start off with highlighting. I have been using this new highlighting contour stick called Ilia. I absolutely love this brand so far. When I tell you this product makes my skin feel so good, even hours of having makeup on my face, this is just one of those products that I feel like I'm so glad I got introduced to. And I am using the shade 28N. Mora. Now it's time to contour and so I'm gonna go in with Charlotte's Hollywood Contour Wand. This is a super cute wand like when I tell you it's super easy to use. I'm wearing the shade medium deep which is absolutely gorgeous. When I tell you like this blends like a dream it really blends like a dream and I also love just the overall idea of it being a wand it just makes creating a lot more fun and magical so I am very careful with how much contour I do place on my face especially the deeper tones because I don't want anything to turn out muddy if anything I'll go back in and add it in as soon as I'm done blending everything out but for now, I like to start off with blending out my highlighted areas. I feel like this is every girl's favorite part about makeup, just contouring like the look. Ugh. It really, really makes a difference in your overall like look when you do a really bomb beat. Like when I tell you, like I absolutely love how my makeup journey has been evolving, especially with the makeup products, because makeup products make a huge difference in how your makeup turns out. Do not believe the people who tell you that that is not true. It is very true. The type of products you use, the type of ingredients that they have make a huge difference in how your makeup lays and how it sits on your face hours after you've placed it and how it makes you feel. Because when I tell you, 
well, since I've been using Charlotte Tilbury's makeup brand, my skin has felt so good. I do rotate my sponge when I start blending out my contoured areas, just to make sure, again, I do not create like a muddy effect. Okay, so this next product I actually got off of TikTok shop and it was sent as like a brand deal slash PR that I had done on TikTok. This is called Zizia and this is their collaboration with the British Museum. This is a setting powder and when I tell you, I was very shocked by how much I actually really love this setting powder. It sets, honey, like it does a great job as you can see like my pores, my sweat, the glowy areas that I'm trying to just dull out, disappear. And just overall, I really just love the presentation of the setting powder. I do like to go in and apply setting powder on my forehead and my eyebrows because I tend to sweat in my eyebrow area. Now it is time for blush. Oh my God, raise your hand if you're a blush girl. I am a major blush girl. I love blush. It's just so pretty. Like it just makes your face look so warm and happy and giddy and like you're giggling all the time. So the blush I'll be using is Pink Gasm by obviously Charlotte Tilbury and I'm pairing it with another blush by Charlotte. It's called Peach Gasm. These blushes are very illuminating. So be mindful with how much you place on your skin. I like to blend these. They have a gorgeous tint and glow to them but alone they're also very gorgeous but for the purpose of this everyday video i wanted to just go ahead and mix them and show you all now it is time to bronze when i tell you these bronzers right here have really set the bar extremely high these are charlotte tilbury's beautiful skin sun kiss glow bronzer i am literally in love by how beautiful these bronzers lay on the skin not only that but the formula behind these products really show because there's so much care that charlotte puts into her products when i tell you my skin felt so good when i apply these bronzers the, the first time and still do really such a blessing to feel this beautiful under makeup because yes we do want to look beautiful while we have makeup on but it's also very important to feel beautiful under it so the shade that I'm using is Tan Door, and the deeper tone is Deep Fonce. I really can't get enough of bronzer, so I, I went in with both of them. Like, <laughs> shamelessly, I went in with both of them. I mean, I just feel like you can never get enough bronzer, and I went ahead and added some to my nose contour as well, just so that the makeup looks seamless and just, you know, makes sense cohesively. Now let's apply our beautiful highlight in the shade Gold Gasm. Now, you know we're still on Charlotte Tilbury. This is one of Charlotte's Beauty Light Wands. It's absolutely gorgeous. I applied some around the eye area as well as my nose, and I just lightly go in and tap the areas. I don't like to overdo it because I don't want the makeup to move. And you're gonna see just this illuminating, beautiful, natural highlight just sitting right there. Like when I tell you this stuff is just so beautiful. She really, honestly guys, I'm just like obsessed with Charlotte right now. She really has like amazed me. So I think for the next few videos, we're just gonna be working with Charlotte Tilbury products. I don't know, what do you guys think? Leave a comment down below. Should we focus on more so luxury products or do you guys wanna also focus on drugstore products? Now we are going in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz in the shade Ebony. Oh my god, this is a brow pencil that I'm like in love with. I usually 
I usually use their brow definer, but I recently got the brow wiz, and I think I like the brow wiz a lot more because my eyebrows are already thick, and I find that I can detail my brows a bit better with the brow wiz. I like to start off with the front of my brows and lightly stroke up. Now we are going to go in and add a little bit of color on the lids and I am using Charlotte's Super Nudes palette. I again love this palette. You can find any brown shade and apply this to your eyes. And I like to apply this in the crease of my lids just lightly stroking it in an upwards motion and blend it out. Okay, so I've never been a huge mascara girly, meaning like mascara was always like whatever to me, but I think I'm falling in love with mascara because Anastasia Beverly Hills has this bomb mascara called Lash Sculpt, and the way this mascara leaves my lashes is like unlike any other because my eyelashes are actually very long, but I felt like with other mascaras, I wasn't able to see the length. If anything, I would see just a lot of thickness being added. However, I always wanted to see that length, and with this mascara, I'm able to really see how beautiful and doll-like my lashes leave me looking, especially with a good mascara stick. Now it is time to go in and apply our lip gloss. I am going in with the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Big Lip Plump Gasm. And this is in the shade Pillow Talk Medium Deep. Now this has to be like literally my favorite gloss at the moment. I actually went ahead and I applied a lip liner off camera. And after I apply this on my lips, I do like to go in and blend out the edges with a flat brush. Um, um, you can use any one that's flat. I just really like to use this one. And I really take my time with this part because I love touching up my lips. I love my lips personally. I really love how beautiful and plump they look when I apply a beautiful gloss as well as a beautiful like just lip pencil and lip gloss combo. As you can see, like look at how stunning this is. Like, Now it is time to set our makeup. I am going in with the Youth Euphoria Pre-Game Skin Moisturizing Setting Spray. I'm not shy when it comes to setting spray, especially if it's moisturizing. I love a moisturizing setting spray. And voila, we have our final gorgeous, effortless, luxury base makeup look. Oh my God, leave a comment down below and let me know what you girlies think about this look. Would you wear this look out? And where would you wear the look out? Well, amiga, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you all fell in love with the look as much as I did. Make sure you subscribe to the family and follow me on Instagram at Naomi underscore. If you want to see more makeup content from me, comment down below. I'll talk to you girlies very soon. Bye.